In this video, you'll explore different methods for transforming artwork like rotating and scaling, also an important part of creating an illustrator. Next, we'll arrange the toppings on the pizza. First, we need to resize the shapes to fit better on the pizza slice. We'll resize them all at once to work a little smarter. With the selection tool selected, drag across the shapes to select them. Shift drag the corner towards the center of the shapes to make them smaller. Release the mouse button and then the key. Choose select, deselect, or click somewhere in the artboard to deselect. Drag each of the toppings onto the pizza slice one at a time. To make copies of the pepperoni, hold down the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows and drag the shape. Release the mouse button and then the key. Do this one more time to make a total of three pepperoni shapes. Option or Alt drag the green pepper shape to make a copy. Release the mouse button and then the key. Position the pointer off a corner and when you see this rotate arrow, drag to rotate it a bit. Try selecting another shape and dragging to rotate. So that we can cut off the toppings outside of the pizza shape, we can use the Shape Builder tool again. Choose Select All to select all the shapes, since you need to select the shapes you want to affect. Select the Shape Builder tool in the Tools panel, press Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, and when you see a minus sign, click in the fill of a shape, not the stroke, to remove it. So that we can keep the pizza shapes together and transform them all at once, we'll group them together. Choose Object, Group. You'll see the word Group in the Control Panel, and the shapes will now be treated as a single unit. Select the Selection tool, and position the pointer off a corner of the group. When you see the rotate arrow, drag to rotate it. To finish the pizza slice, we'll add some cheese dripping off the corner. Click and hold down on the Ellipse tool, and select the Rectangle tool. Starting at the corner of the pizza slice here, Drag to create a rectangle below the pizza group that looks like this. Select the Zoom tool and click on this shape twice to zoom in. Choose Edit Copy, Edit Paste in front to paste a copy in the same spot. Select the Selection tool and drag to resize the copy from this corner to make it look something like this. Now we'll make a copy of this new rectangle. From the center of the rectangle, Option or Alt drag the rectangle to the right and snap it to the right edge of the larger rectangle. Make sure the top edges are also aligned. Release the mouse button and then the key. Drag the bottom middle point of the new rectangle up to make it a bit shorter. Drag across the rectangles to select them all. Now we'll combine them. Select the Shape Builder tool and drag through all three shapes to combine them. The cheese really should be rounded down here to look more like it's dripping. Select the Direct Selection tool and drag across the bottom points of the rectangles so we can round just those points. Drag one of the corner widgets to round the corners for all of the selected points. The cheese would definitely look better if it was connected to the pizza so it looks like it's part of it. We can edit the shapes you just created to do this. Click the anchor point here Release the mouse button. Click and drag this point up until it snaps to the pizza slice edge. To match the cheese color of the pizza, with this cheese group selected, make sure the fill box is selected down here in the Tools panel, and then click the pizza cheese color you saved in the Libraries panel over here. Our logo is really starting to take shape now after we've assembled the pieces and added that drippy cheese. Choose File, Save, to save the file. The only thing that's really missing right now is some text, which we'll start to explore next.